goodness comes in evil. Go Kimbozi, Kimungo Kimbozi, Kimungo Kimbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people, wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth. Karibu, welcome, my name is Kwenye, and today we're going to get into another important subject, and that subject is Relations for Liberty. Liberty is an imperative order of rightfulness in African life. African people must live in liberty. They must have liberty and nationhood. So whatever our endeavors are in our lives as Africans throughout the world, the thrust for liberty must surely feature as a part of our life's continuum, our life's engagement. And relations from African, from each African soul to the next is key in that. As an example, the harmonious and complementary African male-female union is vital functioning for fullest African ascension. The coming together of the African masculine man and the African feminine woman in oneness is, is magnificent and should be of substance and longevity. Of course, with the interruptions and disruptions imposed by others that mean the African ill, there are many challenges to be faced, many traps and tricks to avoid. And self-knowingness is key to elevate in the most optimal way possible. But that does not mean that Africans must suffer in genuinely unworkable union. If an unworkable union is realized and is necessarily brought to an end, dissolved, then that ought to be honored and respected by both parties concerned and the wider sphere of African souls. Oftentimes, souls have had to engage in arduous, overly complex, extensively and sometimes very unnecessarily elongated process to terminate or bring to an end the unworkable union. And resources may have had to be relinquished in a large way to make that a reality and a necessary one. So the honoring and respect of those circumstances, if they have genuine substance, are definitely something to respect and honor, and parties concerned can then move on with their lives accordingly, without having the talons of regression poised and uh, ready through whatever means to pull those people back into degradation, uh, chaos, and disorder. And it's certainly not a excuse to engage in frivolous activity, recklessness uh, that is willfully engaged in, uh, and being loose with oneself. That's certainly not what is being advocated here. What there is certainly a need for is that harmonious and complementary African male-female union of wholesomeness for African liberty and nationhood to be realized in its most glorious and magnificent form. So with that, let us move to the element of the program entitled 
quotation vibration. Okay, so the quotation for today comes from this placard, which are uh, the details of the 42 declarations of innocent that are attributed to the deity Ma'at. And for those of us that are familiar with her, she is the uh, harmonious and complementary spouse of Jehuti, who is the principal lawgiver. And in her duties as law detailer, in support of his efforts, the 42 declarations of innocence are uh, here detailed in this placard, creatively restored by these hands. I'm just going to point out one of those declarations for souls to mull over in the mind's eye. And it says this, I have not caused terror in the African nation, but have worked to safeguard the African nation from the foes of African liberty. So that ties in very appropriately with the discussion on relations and throughout the levels of the self, there's a level of security and ascension as part of live fabric. So with that food for thought, and surely it is food for thought, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people, wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth. The sun who has returned home, for Africans back on time. The sun who has returned home. Returned home for Africans back on top.